All right. Welcome back to RPG Quest, and we are back once again, probably for the last time. Game 420, fast forward number 24, just so we get in four on the PS2. How's it going, everybody? Happy Friday. Speed glass, how's it going? Zero Dine, hello. Let's go. Let's go. We're we got all the stars of destiny now. We just need to beat the game. I'm assuming we're getting to the last area. You know, the fact that we have all the stars of destiny kind of <laughs> indicates that. So now we just gotta go we gotta go defeat the, the Kuluk or whatever in their home base. Or what the hell it was a weird name. I forget what it was called, but gotta go kick their ass and win the game for the final time. The right mode on the retro tank, alright good. Then we get to play some uh some janky you know, Hell Games, Eternal Quests. It's gonna be a wonderful game to follow this up. <laughs> it's a game that'll make this game look good, I'm sure. Maybe it'll be better than I think, but I could listen to this for the last time, probably. You know, the music in this game, the visuals are pretty decent, but it, it it's definitely clear that they didn't finish the game. Like there's there's more content they expected to put in, they just didn't. One thing that uh, I, was, I was looking at the original trailer for this thing, and there's there's, there's the whole like, you know, one of the, one of the things you often get in Sugden games is like uh, army battles. We have like an army versus another army. That doesn't seem to exist in this one. It's even in the trailer, so it's like something they intended to put in. They just they just cut out at last time, kind of thing. There's also so many cutscenes. Like, like none of these cutscenes here existed, do they? Or maybe they did. I don't know. There's also like so many scenes that feels like, like suddenly we go from one event to another one, and like nothing in between. And like, what what just happened? This is clearly like some cutscenes that never got done. It's 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 very unpolished. It's definitely the weakest of the ones so far, but eh. some good things, but definitely a lot of bad things. Not at least the witches' encounters. I mean, this game probably would have been like way shorter if it wasn't for the insane encounter rate too. Yeah, I just realized that they like spoiled Ted in the introduction. I mean, you don't realize it's Ted, I guess, but. snow. Do you ever change outfits? He's still wearing like his rags that he he came in on. I think we would give him an outfit or something. It's like, nah, you just get to keep those rags. And the character models look better, but yeah, the, the main problem is the world feels very empty. So it, it feels like they didn't have like a second pass and like make the world more like lived in, you know, like more characters walking around, more like just stuff on, you know, on the ground, the walls and all that stuff. It just feels barren, just like the ocean. There's even like entire, entire uh, islands that show up on like some of the charts for the area, but they don't exist in the game. So I'm convinced that those were probably, they probably intended to have these other islands and ran out of time and budget or whatever, and they took them out, but they never changed the in-game charts to reflect that. So, yeah. Will change any of his outfits? I know I didn't, I, I'll have to check the, maybe, maybe in the character menu or something. Maybe you have to talk to him or something, I don't know. Alright. Sucks <clears> they <throat> replace Gene in my. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I mean, obviously his equipment. He's got some decent equipment, but. I'm 
Let's see if I can get some more of these. More power rings to, to make our guys stronger. Or like 20,000 bucks. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I want to go grind more money. I think we're like probably OP enough as it is. Give him Jean's outfit. Like he's just wearing rags. Because it's Suikoden. <laughs> it's very easy in Suikoden. You do a couple battles and boom. I have to go get some money to upgrade his weapons anyways, so... A couple fights to, to get that and boom. <laughs> Jean has an age of day. Neither has Vicky. Or Ted. Alright. Uh, I think there's anything else I want to do before we go to the... I guess we have to sail there manually. I'm assuming it's north of Iluya or whatever it was. That one place I couldn't reach. Right, do we have a new uh, newspaper? Issue 10. Did I read issue 9? I think I did. Yeah, I remember reading this chapter. Issue 10. The Navy successfully defeated Kuluk's second fleet, which was occupying the Kingdom of Obel. The return to Obel becoming more and more imminent. Touching family reunions could be seen everywhere today. I had faith this day would come, said Mr. Ming, 39, who runs a fishery in the old Kingdom of Obel. Mr. Ming's eyes shone as he added, I will continue to work even harder than before to catch good fish. No signs of unrest. Late night reports were... Late night reports of subsur... Sub... Surf... Subversive, there we go, words. Hawk, coming up from what should have been an empty war room, had us investigating. Sitting near the door, we confirmed the voices of Miss Rene, 14, Miss Rita, 13, Miss Noah, 12. It seems they were only making something which could be... which could clear up suspicions they were discussing a rebellion. All well, young girls. Rita's 13? God, I didn't think she... I thought she was a little older than 13. Which one's Rene? I remember Rene. Noah's the one we just picked up there, one of the cat ears. Which one was Rene? Not condone pointless fights, but I suppose it cannot be helped. The duel between the Rose Swordsman and Lan began. The duel sword dual sworded swordsman Lan fought bravely, but in the end he was no match for the Rose Swordsman. It took little time for the duel to end. The hand towels held by the onlookers did not have time to dampen. Then was on the ground in a pitiful state for the Rose Swordsman. Then opened his eyes and said, I favor to ask of the Lord. What am I to be, Sir Lan? I'd like to welcome the Rose Swordsman, not as a comrade, but as our leader. A loud murmur rippled through the crowd. Firming with pride, the Lord replied, Go, and see the world while you're still young. Hey, Bone does going. I understand. That is what you wish, Father. So thus the Rose Swordsman became the leader of the Dauntless. Afterwards, he embarked on a journey to overthrow the Kuluk. I'd like to make a complaint. This is clearly, like, fake news. Yeah, which one was Rennie? I did not think Ritapon was 13. I thought she was, like, I don't know, 16. I thought she was, like, around the same age as us. Is she Rene? No, it's Rachel. None of these look like Rene's. Hey, where's Buddy Boy? Should be like a sort alphabetically. Oh, there's. Oh, that's Renny. Yeah, I guess they're they're up on on the um, on the deck. 
just like, or maybe not in deck. Okay, so, shall we go with this plan then? Let's do it. Let's get right to it. I think if there's anything else I need to prepare. I mean, I can go upgrade my, I think Jean's weapons to like level 14, but I don't think that would make much of a difference. I'd like to execute this in the morning, three days from now. Who are you executing? Everyone, please use this time to get ready. We're going to exec like execute snow in three days? I'd like on members for the detachment. Come talk to me whenever it's convenient. Wait, are we going to have, like, two teams? <laughs> if so, so I need to prepare. After all, even though you finally regained your kingdom? Yes. If we leave everything as is... We're bound to suffer the same consequences. Even you know that, don't you, Setsu? Yes, sir. All right, everybody, listen up. Once we hit El Il, the threat to the islands should disappear for a while. It may only be temporary, though. But remember, we're fighting for lasting peace. That's exactly what's most important to all of us now, right? Right. And that's why I chose to put my life on the line. Mentioning detachment, are we gonna have to have like two? If we have to have two teams, I'm definitely gonna have to go grind some money and stuff to upgrade the second team. Like I'm assuming detachment means like like another team that's detached from the first one. Ugh. All right. Well. I mean, we have one person here easily. Uh, Lino, I guess. We're gonna have to. Some sort of magic caster. I mean, there's probably plenty of new ones we picked up recently. They wouldn't need to. Uh, I would need to, like, level them up, but I wouldn't need to. I wouldn't need to upgrade their weapons for casters. I mean, I can have Rene, Lino, uh. Mitsu, Mitsuru, Mitsugi, or whatever her name is. So Kika doesn't need to do anything other than, like, I need to, like, get her some armor and stuff. Uh, not... Thing really, I mean, other than getting all the picked up the last stars. All right, we're probably gonna need to go grind some money. Well, we will definitely need to go grind money. We change. Pika's already got level sixteen weapons. Um... I wonder if L Lino and Flare must get some sort of combo, like father and daughter kind of thing. You must get something. And let's see, what's a good caster? Probably something we picked up recently. Like Warlock. Warlock, yeah, he's already got like 851. I didn't even check what his runes was. I know he had like really strong uh, attacks, like magic attacks or whatever, like rune can attacks, so he might have some good uh, runes already. Best, best, best. It's got the okay, Mother Earth and flowing. It's got a lot of defense stuff. Doesn't have any attack though. Would be so good for fighting bosses. Eight hundred damage, I guess. Then against magic, once all allies. Nice to get some, like, damaging runes. <sighs> I mean, I could go through the characters, but we, we probably still need to do, like, some ship battles, maybe. I don't know. Which should we go through all the casters and see if there's any runes we need to remove. It's 
me a pain. Maxine had some strong magic. Pablo, probably. Alright, she's got the cyclone rune. So take that. Will be this will be a pain. Bring somebody the prosperity rune as well. I should get that un unequipped from uh, Snow, I think, had the pr prosperity rune. So I'll need a lot of money to upgrade these weapons. Hey, Mr. J. And it was a good one. Let's throw on snow just for a second so I can pick up the prosperity rune. Uh, let's throw on... Warlocks, we can give them an attack rune of some kind. Yeah, but I need to make like a second party, which means I need to like upgrade all their shit. Fun times means time to spend lots of money. Alright, let's just replace the Mother Earth rune. Oh, he's got a spot in his head as well. Done. There. Lots of choices. What the hell Slash Orb does. You can have it. Yep. He finally gave up. It took us like, I don't know, three or four times to ask him to join us before he's like, all right, fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. You take up Prosperity Rune. That's why I brought him. I don't have much money left to do this. Broke. Oh man, I have to upgrade like, ugh. So at least. One of the four characters already has leveled up weapons. I mean, I, I'm doubting I'm going to get everybody up to 16 here, but... I need to upgrade a few people. Uh, where's I going? Right here.
I guess I won't need the prosperity room when I'm going into like like to actually like fight. So assuming that's like a point of no return or something like that, which kind of feels like this game is is, is definitely hinting at. The fact that we picked up all the stars of Destiny before hitting this way and uh you know, they're making like two teams and stuff. Probably won't need money. We probably we're probably not coming back until the game is beaten. <laughs> Should be able to switch out the main character. Like he's not even important. I wonder if there's any like four person combos. I know there'd definitely be some three person combos, like there's this there's multiple three person combos that would make sense. I wonder if there'd be like any four person combos. Of course, the only time you'll be able to use that would be using ship parties. Like, these three here almost guarantee you a combo. Is, like, we have three siblings, right? Um, this, these three here are very likely to be a combo, because... Or not these three. Vicky here, but... Um, what's her name? Mizuki. Mizuki, Kate, and Nagahi. Almost guaranteed to be a combo, because, you know, three ninjas... I think of as any like four, and of course the three cats. Is there, is there like a third cat? Is he just in a different spot. Is he not like a fighter? Maybe his support. There he is. Yeah, cheap who's up there. So those three almost would guaranteed be some sort of triple combo. Can't think of any like four. Actually, maybe the four like the starting characters. Like Jewel and them. Maybe all four of those would make sense. But, I mean, unless you're fighting on the ship. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. It's only 108 characters to, to remember, right? Yeah, well, I don't know if they've, they've officially announced. I mean, they're 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 suggesting, but I don't think they've like actually put out like an exact like yeah it's coming out at this date kind of thing. Would have been catastrophic. It's <laughs> one thing this game definitely has a serious lack of is uh, non-human characters. There's like three cat characters. There's a cat girl, probably just wearing cat ears. There is a. There's two elves, and that's it. Like, so getting games usually have, like, like half the team is non-human. That's why people hate this one so much. Uh, oh yeah. Yep, prosperity room. It's like, what was I going? You're getting sidetracked. Skip the skunk room so she's weak right now, so. Alright. <laughs> Just enough money. Let's, uh, let's go grind some money, I guess, and experience. I did it the first time just to see what would happen. It's like, alright, the game just let me do it. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Desert Island. So far, the two best places for money would be Desert Island and Obel, the ruins there, but Desert Island is definitely easier and quicker to access. You don't have to, like, go through, like, a billion things. Because for now, we don't really have... We don't have magic attack, so we can't really kill that crab thing, but... Random encounters here will be enough for money, I guess. Well, at least Slayer has got decent damage. Ow. Well, it's a good start. Yeah, you got a lot of 
you got a bunch of kobolds, especially. Number three has like duck people and everything else like that. And so many non humans. Had to sleep earlier. <laughs> yeah. It shouldn't take too long to level up the, the characters as long as they don't die. Getting the money though for the. Uh, that's, that's gonna take a lot more time. Okay, can you guys like kill something, please? This is stupid. Alright, I guess we're just dead. <laughs> These AoEs are nasty. Oh wow. Alright, Lan, you got this. You got this. Wow. He somehow survived with a counterattack. I wonder if, yeah, I guess if the person who has the Rune Prosperity dies during that battle. I guess they don't get... We don't get the, the extra money. Yeah, I guess there's a training room thing. Let's figure I need money at the same time, so... Wait... is going badly. What happened, John? It's TGIF. Oh god, that sucks. It's all that fiber. Fiber usually does it. need to have the meeting. Is it a Zoom meeting at least? Should have given him the skunk rune. has ideas about the product but didn't mention them with last year. Oh, that's always fun. Good luck. I'm getting a lot of XP here. So much damage. <laughs> it's like so, so little damage when you do that.
Yeah, I guess the uh, Mother Earth Rune doesn't have like the actual defense buff that you get from the regular Earth Rune. So if anything, it's worse. Defense against magic once, one ally. Gonna say, I bet you more than anything, I'll hit the 10% chance of dying myself, but and, and I won't kill the enemy. <laughs> sure enough. Wow, the hell game. 10% chance, my ass. It's the first first time I've ever used that. <laughs> I'm literally like. Die by the first time, one in ten chance. I think I'll ever use that Earth Rune. It's probably better giving him the Skunk Rune just so that he's less likely to be attacked. <laughs> Our Jesus is definitely an ass. Place won't be the best for experience. It's mostly here. It's mostly for money here. Forty man. I need to fight the boss, but I'm not gonna be able to fight the boss with this team. He does not have the damage output. Kill that thing. Is that a surprise, though? It's gonna be a slog, I'm sure. Yep. I mean, it was it was a game that was uh, it was a game that was like released as like a, a like a super budget game, like a, one of those two thousand yen games in Japan. So it's not a surprise that it's not exactly a yeah, single series. It's, it's not a surprise that it's, it's low quality, right? You get what you pay for. Blurg. I need to upgrade weapons a little bit, but man. This B team hopefully doesn't have to do too much. As long as they can handle a few battles here. Oh. 
me an Embroke already. <laughs> Jesus. Go get money first. Levels we could get probably relatively easily once we start fighting whatever we're going to be fighting. It's the money we're going to need. So, might as well just go with the A team and make some cash so I can upgrade all their shit. Get some decent armor and uh, obviously their weapon. Too slow doing it with the B team. No. It's a lavish and engaging PS2 title. It combines all the vital elements of a third person adventure. <laughs> Most perfectly formed product. Is that from the developer? <laughs> Two out of five stars on Amazon. That sounds like somebody who was paid to make a review for this, but then they they forgot at the end they were supposed to give five stars. Very nice, welcome back. Alright, let's go grind some cash. We're gonna need lots of cash. I wonder... I don't think which one would be more efficient. Because the desert island, obviously, would be killing it in groups faster, generally. And of course, we can kill the crab relatively quick. The crab would give us 60,000, roughly. Then the other place, Obel, the boss gives us like, uh, oops, rest first. The boss gives us uh, more money than random encounters probably generally do, but they're also more effort to kill. I don't know, it's probably faster per minute. It's probably going to be faster getting money at the uh, desert ruins. Too lazy to walk back downstairs. Use the mirror. Alright. Let's get some cash. I was considering doing is to switch the um, the water rune between Ted and Jean. So Ted gets the water rune, Jean gets the the fire rune. That way Jean gets at least some sort of AOE attack. And generally Jean's gonna be fighting the bosses. So having Ted being the healer would be better.
level up. Mr. Krabs. It's not worth fighting these things. Thunder. Judgment. Let's go. See if I get like uh, something as not be too expensive. I think if I get a bunch of like power runes or power rings or whatever the hell it was. First of all, if they stack, which they must. Same thing with magic. Like how much I could actually make a difference in terms of, of damage output if it's worth the money. It's, I might be able to make. I never check the accessory up. Like, what do I need to make those? I might have what I need. This is a better idea because this will heal himself, and the other one doesn't. So it's. And they both do the same amount of damage to the enemy. I guess if the enemy is strong against wind, the other one would be better, but otherwise. Yes, he is. Should I make? I forget if I maxed out Ted's uh, weapon. Who's attacking me? I don't see nothing. It was a g, -g, -g ghost. Oh. 
Ah, oh, sucks, John. Hopefully it ends with everybody's getting a raise. Gotta hit him with the bad before you hit him with the good. Everybody's getting a big bonus. Surprise. Weirdest looking frogs I've ever seen, too. Some giant ass frogs. Gene <laughs> murdering the, uh, the dudes. How much money do we have? 107,000. Let's go take a trip to the uh, other place. Yeah, let's go check to see if uh, we can make some accessories with some of the stuff we already have here. So I'm definitely not going to be going going out to grind for materials, that's for sure. Like, I know the, the golem drops, like, platinum. The crab drops those giant crab things. I think a lot of these accessories need, like, pearl shells. I have no idea who drops pearl shells. Probably some sort of boss on the ocean or something. Yes, but uh, this one here, we can make some magic rings. It's generic magic, so will it maybe like raising lightning magic, thunder magic ring that needs pearl shells. Yeah, I can make some power rings with dragon's bone. <laughs> Make a pearl necklace. <laughs> Give that to Jean. That was just like accessory. Like, what the hell does it do? <laughs> We're not going to tell you what it does. It's just an accessory. Take it to face value. Alright, I had enough. I had one dragon's bone apparently. We have more scales, I can make another magic ring. Let's see how much this actually increases magic. It increases by a good amount, anyways. Fifteen. Chunk of attack. Snow and Ted, or Snow and Land, basically have the same attack power. <laughs> trying to think of where I would find Pearl. I, it would be some sort of boss, so... There's like harder enemies like usually on the edges here. Like we probably have to head over here. 
Like this this continent here is probably the place we need to go. Once you know the game tells us to go there. Uh, I think there's some harder enemies around here too. How many ships do we have now? We have four ships in total. Not that you can really use them, we'll probably have like one battle where we have four ships. Like some big crab shells too, maybe. There you go. It's an easy way of getting giant crab shells, I guess. Still don't have the, uh, the pearl. I don't think I've ever fought like anything that looks like an oyster. Eternal Quest is a PS2 classic on PS4. They, they actually released it as a PS2 classic on PS4? Like, why? <laughs> like, how, how did that game get released as a PS2 classic out of, like any other game? It just seems wrong. I'm, I'm assuming that's like a um, HAL only like PS uh, PlayStation release. Like, it's probably not available in the English store. Yeah, it, it looks like... I mean, it's super basic, right? I mean, that, that's how it's designed. It's designed to be, like... Well, not designed, it's... It's literally, like, a budget title. They released it as a budget title back then, so... Don't expect anything story-wise or whatever. Let's see, these things don't drop anything. Looking for that big dragon thing. Sea dragon. Pretty sure there was some around here, maybe, like, in this area. Yeah, I mean, there were. It, it was. It was a. It was one of those simple uh, 2000 titles in Japan, like ones that are literally released as a like a 2000 uh, yen, like a twenty dollar video game. So, yeah, I mean, it's literally like a straight to budget bin title. Yeah, simple 2000. So you get what you pay for. I mean, even nowadays, you can probably get a copy for, like, next to nothing. <laughs> it's definitely not high high value. Such being PAL exclusive. I'll have to use my swap discs or something to, uh... play it. Choo. We don't even have enough crew to like man all these once we get into a battle. I mean, I just need to send one ship in, so. Should be in the area where we're getting tougher enemies. I think. I'm pretty sure it was like north of this place. Maybe I need to go a little more north. More west or something.
forgot how bad the encounter rate was in the ocean. <laughs> The worst. Maybe I'll go near Donut Island. Now there was definitely some near there. Well, there was some around here too, but... Maybe at this point it was using the champion rune. I wasn't getting encounters. north of the Mass Mountain. Or Mountain Mass. What a weird name, Mountain Mass. It's gotta be a localization thing. Slightly harder enemies is usually where those sea dragons show up. I don't know if they those drop pearl skins or whatever, but yeah, there we go. Buy thing. Thunder. See how fast we kill these things. <laughs> Probably kill them in one round now. Dragon parts. Hmm. It's gotta be something in the ocean that drops the shell. It's like a pearl shell, so it's gotta be some something that looks like an oyster. I'm trying to recall any enemies I've ever fought that looks like oysters. Like it'd probably be like shallows or something. You have to go like really off the beaten path. Or just near an island.
I'm not sure what leveling up does. Does it like just give me more damage? <laughs> Get that with Kika as well. I know it originally had like 1.5 times damage. I'm curious if that actually goes up to like 1.6 times damage or something. says 1.5 times damage so I, I i'm not sure what leveling up does maybe it does do damage more damage it just doesn't like it's not obvious maybe it doesn't actually say it i mean it's not like that attack ever misses or anything so that or if you like level it up high enough then you, you unlock another combo or something but, I mean, I was with Kika for a long time, and I got to a point where I never saw any more levels, like anything. I think I leveled up, like, twice, that combo attack, and then never saw a level up after that, so. So, no clue what leveling up means. <clears throat> Alright, well. There's no skills here. I can't recall of any enemies I fought with shells. Like any, like, crab, not crab, but, uh, uh, oyster like enemies. This game needs a bestiary. We've got a bunch of money <laughs> just running around. All right, let's make her B team here. Hopefully it'll be enough here. If not, we can just like, we'll save and then reload. So, step one. Need to uh, get Kika some equipment too. So I probably stripped her when uh, we started using snow. Probably fine. I'm sure the B team's gonna get like a lot weaker enemies because they probably don't expect you to have like a super OP team. Is, is equipped with ISIS. 
Yeah, I'm putting the champion rune on them. Well, I probably want them to get some experience in the battles, so let's take that one off. This thing I want to do is go up to a boss and have like a bunch of like mid 40s, and the boss is, expects you to have like 55s. I wanted to see if this like double strike one would like combo with um I'm assuming it doesn't combo with any sort of like combo attacks. It seems like the berserk one does, but this one here we could also have strength up and defense down, but that sounds risky. It's also freaking expensive. Yeah, it could be. Or like some sort of necklace or something. <laughs> but most likely, yeah. I'll be in the forehead. It's weird that not everybody can equip, like, multiple runes, though. Like, what, this person here can't, you know, <laughs> throw one in his head and the other person can? Like, I could see if, like, if you if you, you were missing an arm, you can only equip, like, you know, one, one rune in your arm kind of thing. No IQ, yeah, no brain matter to equip it in. You just shove it right in that brain. Okay, well, if we're going to a... There's no point in having, like, a... Like discovered money, assuming we're going to like a point like a point of no return, so it's probably better having like a strong healer or something like that. In between regular battles we can get some healing. Gojur is discovered money as well. Not sure who would be the strongest healer though. Carrie's the newest healer, so might be strong. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, those are like the starting characters that we didn't use in the game, so... We just stayed at level 2 all this time. Let's make a save. Let's try this out. Oh yeah, like one encounter of like anything at this point in the store in the game would instantly put him to level uh, like double digits. There's like a cap of how many how much experience you get per per enemy it seems. But if you let's say you get a big group of like one of those one of those plants that those those leaves that you get like eight enemies or whatever. You can get a big sh chunk of levels off of those. Let's do it. Okay. Decide. No. decide which members you want to assign to the detachment. 
They'll be separated from the main force for a while, so the ones you choose must be able to hold their own in a fight. Yeah, I mean, Swigadon is good for having memorable, like, party members and that. By the way, you can't go. What? You must stay here and command the forces. I started disbanding my, uh, my ship teams. So just taking everybody out. I have my A team. guys joined like pretty late too so likely they're decent healers too or never forget Jean yeah Jean and Vicky especially since they're in every Swookenden game definitely very memorable especially Jean the reason she's she's got the charm rune at some point having ship parties I guess Okay then, I will accompany the detachment and instruct them directly. L uh, Lady Eleanor! Wait a minute, won't it be dangerous for the tactician to accompany them? We must destroy the rune cannon by any means necessary, that's why I'm going. I've got the map of the fort and the structure of the rune cannon memorized in my head already. Got on you, Ms. Eleanor. If that's what you think, I have no right to stop you guys. But please be careful. Well, I love how he's like... He says that as if he's not coming along. I have no right to stop you. Uh, you're going with them. Just got to sail there manually? Or do we have to go rest? going here but maybe like up here be a logical place but there's no like pointer I know there's an invisible wall preventing us from going there before so if the invisible wall is still there let me know we have to do something else So that's not Vicky. That's a wall.
Hey, Snurpards. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, those shorts are really weird. Everybody has weird outfits. Like, Snow's still wearing his, like... His frickin' rags that he, he, he washed up in. Like, nobody offered this guy a change of clothes or anything? Like, what the hell? I guess just to remind him, remind himself that, you know, he had nothing. He came from nothing and now he's, you know, he's trying to make it come back. Hey, mother gun man, how's it going? Alright, so let's see if we hit an invisible wall still up here. <laughs> There's this pickle smell. Gotta have the pickle smell. Is that a barnacle in your pocket, or are you happy to see me? Why not both? So, still invisible wall. So clearly we need to... <laughs> yep. It's like, I don't know what the hell that was, but apparently it's a really strong current. <clears throat> that's assuming that's where we need to go, but... I mean, this would be the most logical... It's close to Luya Island. There's definitely like a landmass there. It's like the southernmost point of their continent or whatever. So it's clearly like over here is where we need to go, but you have to talk to the right person in the war room. I didn't talk to everybody, I just I just assume, you know talking to the tactician to be like, Hey, you ready to go? Sure, let's go. The graffiti, yes, it's glorious. This is drawn by Noah. Mr. Land, please, please take care of his majesty. <laughs> I just had to talk to her a second time. Yes, I am ready! Do this, I should have saved again. Whatever. <laughs> I know, right? They kept hitting invisible walls every time they tried going there. And they called it the Bermuda Triangle. Okay. The decisive battle will take place tomorrow morning. I'm counting on you. Man of many words. I don't have a choice of selections. Victory will be ours. I mean, look at the king, though. <laughs> the king's also... Funny, he actually like started speaking all of a sudden. It's like, oh my god, the sign for Dagnos is actually saying something. Everybody, hush. Tomorrow's our big moment, isn't it? If we survive tomorrow. Don't worry. We'll be able to return to Rosaril. I don't think the level 2s are surviving. That's right. Let's do our best tomorrow. 
I wonder what I'll do when I finally get back to Razaril. Slightly nervous. Must I really must not be feeling this way. We're gonna we're gonna give it our best, right, Lan? Lan, it's finally time. Let's keep it together no matter what. Let's do our best, Lan. Never think about tomorrow until that day has arrived, but live for the moment. Mr. Ramada is someone who we owe a deep our deepest gratitude. He helped us when we were about to be sold long ago. Ever since, I, I have been unable to repay our, my debt to him. But these guys were like slaves or something. Yuka's has been awfully nice today. It's kind of creepy, actually. So then, I'll give it my best so that I have no regrets. Suppose your fight may be settled tomorrow. Hey, what are you doing here? We've got to get an early start tomorrow. I was wondering, that rune of yours, is it a great burden? You know, Brando died alone, but that was his choice. He never let anyone, not even his friends, get close to him. It's pitiful to think about, actually. Did Brando say anything? No, never mind. Uh, I'm sorry, forget what I said. Yeah, I don't remember much about Brando. <laughs> if he said anything, I don't remember it at all. Such a weird character design. <laughs> but his box. Mr. Mustachioed old timey boxer Yakuza dude. So, you're not going back to Middleport or the Rheinbach family fleet after this fight is over? <laughs> what kind of question is that? No, I'm just asking. Well, I've already severed my ties to that place. In the eyes of Middleport, I'm a dead man. I intend to stay in the pirate business. I'll spend my whole life repaying Lady Kika for taking me in. What about you? Aren't you going to find your calling? I don't think so. I too would rather stay as Lady Kika's right-hand man. Well, first, we have to get tomorrow over and done with. Oh, right. How about it? This battle's over. Why don't you come join us too? So then, let us do our best. You'll become a pirate. words from the Detectician Eleanor. You've all done well to get this far. Believe in yourselves and do your best. Believe in yourselves. Even after this war is over, our lives will continue on. Let us ponder those words thoroughly whenever we come across troubled times in our lives. Suspension of publication notice for being faithful readers all this time. We sincerely thank you. Fortunately, we have a terribly distressing announcement to make. This publication will be on hiatus as of this issue. In closing, we ask you your understanding. We will pray for your future well-being. It's the end. Rose Swordsman Chapter 5. On their journey, they encountered an obstinate island chief, an unreasonable elf, and a greedy local lord. They troubled Rose Swordsman. They troubled Rose Swordsman, but he did not fight alone, backed by heroes and other people of the island nations. Before they knew it, many heroes had gathered around the Rose Swordsman. 
Everyone, even Lan and the King of Obel, idolized him. It just goes to show that admirable people flock to an admirable leader, said Mickey. Rose Swordsman smiled and quipped, Yes, you're one of them, Mickey. There's no longer anyone who could stand up to the Rose Swordsman and his people. Even the Kuluk, who had stood their way with awesome military might, was like a twisting a babe's hand for him. The Kuluk fell, and peace was restored to the island nations. The time was was or the time to return home was approaching. Middleport was getting close, but something was different. Middleport looked terribly red in the distance. The became the reason became immediately clear. Residents awaited the Rose Swordsman's return, decorated the town with all roses in the world. Beautiful. From now on, we must spread the beauty to the rest of the world. We'll set out on our journey again. That is my young master. The ship slowly returned to port. The Rose Swordsman's return was a beautiful event no one would forget for the rest of their lives. The end. What a glorious ending. Yeah, I figure it's something they probably added. Like maybe, I don't know if the Japanese version even had a running one. Maybe it was done in localization because they figured it was, like this was too slow. I mean, this is a this is a decent running speed for the most part. So, you know, they just added it. It's my guess anyways. And of course, yeah, they didn't program a new... Uh, they didn't program a new animation. They just sped it up. So... best tomorrow we just can't lose we just can't so um 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 this is a present from us we work present. really hard to make it so take good care of it okay <laughs> <laughs> a wooden amulet we got 108 stars all the stars Got like an accessory. Wine by Rita, Noah, and Renee. Increases our luck. And our defense slightly. Whatever, we'll wear it. You know where Cat Menton's got flippers all the time. I know, right? <laughs> um, good luck. Oh, Mr. Land, what is it? Is it okay to be playing here? Sure. Let's play this card game that we played once. <laughs> we'll come back, John. That was the meeting. Uh, I don't even remember the rules. Let's play it anyways. Five hundred bucks. Okay with that? Are you scared or something? Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. It was boring. Yeah, it's like at most first, meetings. We'll decide who goes first. Draw a card. Whoever draws the higher card goes first. Hooray! It's totally random, so it doesn't matter what card I choose. All right, I get to go first. <laughs> there you go. Here. 
50 was bad. I forgot about that. This is indeed the card game of all time. Bad. Wanna play again? Hell no. See ya. I also play all the mini games at least once. Just for old time's sake. Alter piece? Oh, you can change the, uh, the pictures in. The, the combos together. more time doing this than playing the actual game. Yeah, the music is fine. Great. Short. Let the game begin. We didn't have all these choices when we played her the first time, so <laughs> I never played this game since like I picked her up. Low family sis. Her oops town. So I guess if yeah, I wonder if you can make like special combos by like by like putting different things together. Loyal laymaster. I know where that's. I like where that's going. Settle 
the score? Settle the score. I lost. Let's settle the score. You get a bonus if you win a certain number of games. Well, 50 bucks. You still want to continue? No. Hey, stop by any time. One mini game was good. Let's play the top. We're losing. The old Beyblade, yep. Play some coins. What win? Maybe tails. Which one? I think the only recurring characters in this one are Vicky, uh, Jean, and Ted. I'm, I'm sure some of these probably had, like, you know, this is probably some ancestors of some characters in the other ones, but as far as more, those are the only three, like, that are in other S. Weekend games. Tombola game? <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Quickest mini game. Yeah. Yeah, Gene and Vicky especially. I mean those are definitely the recurring ones there. I mean Vicky was she was she was in the uh third game twice. It was regular Vicky and like kid Vicky. Yeah, Rita I, I doubt I mean she she might have some ancestors in the later ones, but Plus, you know, after four games, they're probably going to have a bunch of character uh, models or a bunch of character designs that look similar. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, you inherit the rune from them or something like that. I think your main character inherits the rune from them. I 
Nothing left to temper. Do we have any armor we can make? I think most of the armor we we can make needs like the ore, which we don't have access to. Any shells? Make a platinum helm. What would be stronger, platinum or helmet or uh, diamond? I'm assuming diamond would be stronger. Mythical armor. Body gear ups fire, thunder, and wind defense. Yeah, I could make that, I guess. It'll be an upgrade for somebody. Is three if you count uh, Swigadin tactics and tier Chris. <laughs> well, those still considered to be an empty room. Oh, this guy's here too. Fifteen generations working hard to produce a new Vicky and retain their trademark. <laughs> yeah. That cat is definitely a star of destiny. Take a bite. So then, what'll it be today? What? Oh. Any new murals? up a good sweat today, meow. I'm gonna have cat hair in my in my bath. <laughs> hey, hey, Lan, is there anything you want? Like some yummy mackerel miso stew? I think I'll pass. Oh, well, yeah. After all, we are taking a bath right now. Darn. <laughs> it smells like a wet cat, yeah. Squirrel Squad, yeah, the uh, Super Sentai Squirrels. Generic crew members. So much stuff. Well, we can buy power rings and. So we can buy power rings, but not ma magic rings. Not that I can afford them. There's nobody. There's nothing in the left side. Go see Maxine. Because I looked. <laughs> oh, 
she sells medicine. Random woman. You're not a star of destiny. Get off my ship. These guys have like one bed. <laughs> Must be really cozy at night. One very small bed. Doesn't Dario and Nalo have one bed? Don't these guys have one bed? Yeah, every time I see this guy, I just think he's like, he's definitely part of my, uh, he's part of my clan from, uh, from Orishika. <laughs> Such a glorious chin. Follow your own path unwaveringly, even with a rune like that. Say, do you think I'll be able to live like that someday too? Sure you will. Yeah, you're right. Someday. Someday, Ted. Someday. Someday you'll have your own game. Storm's battle will be a decisive one. Become your own man. I'm sure Mander Glenn would be proud. It's a weird, like, semi cutscene, but. So, what happens tomorrow? If there's anything I can do, please tell me. Let me to support you in this endeavor. After all, I also have a connection to the Rune of Punishment. I'm not sure that my husband would have wanted it that way. <sighs> we just, like, talked to enough characters and the game's like, alright, let's advance the story now. Here we go! Yeah! Uh. Come and get me! <laughs> Eat too much. It's a really random cutscene. Tomorrow we're gonna show them just what we're made of. You hear me? Yes, sir. Just don't die on me. Got that? No, sir. Yes, sir. And if I should die, you'll go back to your mom. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. You found my mother? Oh, uh, well, uh, actually, uh... Oh, enough of this depressing talk. We're gonna sleep, and that's final. Yes, sir. You found mommy? <laughs> Sounds like really random cutscenes. Like, really weird. After talking to these guys. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure if it's just like specifically because I talked to them or just because I talked to enough NPCs where it's like, all right, let's just have these little mini cutscenes. I can't confess on my side. I wonder if I can still get stuck behind, uh, I could potentially get stuck, and in this case I'd definitely be stuck. Like, I wouldn't be able to depart or anything. I never found that second book. It could be one of those mini-games, it could be like a map. Like three maps we haven't found yet. Last we battle Cray. And Cray attacked the nobles of Scarlet Moon before. Someone probably used the moon in punishment. That is how he knows the rune's great power. He craves that power, which is why he'll go after you. Once he has the rune, he'll use it to kill others. The same way my city was decimated. Confessions. Zoom. You strong. Won't lose. They never loses. It's a very, very pink skin tone. It's crazy. His last name is uh, Zed. Crazy Zed. Things should come to a close soon, but please... Yes. Is he selling us out? Do not worry. Now's not my time to die. Since I volunteered to fight this battle against you, I'm prepared for any consequences I may face. It's your decision. Live your life however you see fit. There's more to this world than Kuluk, you know. Father... Father... In order to thrive, you must survive. Yes, sir. Where's Colton? <laughs> He's just gone. Oh, okay. Just in the back of his cell. That would funny if it was, like, just gone all of a sudden. <laughs> These guys were, like, right next to them when they were talking. Hey, where's the, uh, shipbuilder guy? I guess he's up in the... He's up on the uh, war room or whatever, on the deck. Rope of the dead. Like a unicorn robe. Shoes. 
Go see the mermaids. See if you have a scene with the mermaids. Oh, of course, yeah, they're just gonna make you accessories. <laughs> That's right, we got another dragon bone. Another power ring. Yeah, you, you, you would think you would get more accessories the more mermaids you get, but as far as I could tell, you get the... Like, every accessory is available right off the bat, which is weird. Like, the, uh, the armor, you get stronger armor the more uh, hammers you get. Oh. Rather, the stronger the hammer you get. Oh. Oh. I'm so, so busy! Mr. Tove, should you be wasting your time here like this? Everything's ready on my end. Then would you please help me out? Sorry, but working with rune cannons is not my expertise. Oh, oh, yeah. Such a busy, busy day! It's voice acting. Oh, oh, oh. I love how Warlock is just standing here and just like watching. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll just let him just do this by himself. We never picked up any more ocean rune pieces, did we? I hope they give you like like five rune pieces and they give you like four ships. You can either spend it all in one ship just to raise the the firing range by one square. Yeah, no right. He had uh, choice paralysis. He had too many things to do. He just didn't know what to start with, so he's just stuck. <laughs> I don't know what to do first. What do I do? Yep, pretty much. Oh, I can't train by myself. <laughs> I could, but... The place I haven't gone is the bridge. I think bridge is the only place I haven't visited. And, you know, my floor. If all night keeping watch, please enjoy peaceful night's sleep. Do not allow anyone to lay a single finger on you, Sir Lan. I mean, you can let Jean in, that's fine. <laughs> Genius. Then all is, it's my homeland, but. I'm sure you knew. It's a hard place to live. The island chief was always a pesky old man. Boy, I left as fast as I could and came to Guy and joined the knights. Hi. It's worked. We work well together. Later. Which one was Travis? Oh, yeah, it's the one we picked up in the ruins. He told us to use a freaking, like, teleportation thing. <laughs> and we have to go back and pick him up again. It's like, ah. Good luck. Try equipping a lottery ticket. Good things will happen, probably. I don't know, because it's like plus one luck. And yeah, maybe if you equip a lottery ticket and then you play the lottery, you have a better chance. Never tried that, but. Wonderful fisherman. I've heard all sorts of stories about him, and many people I think he's a genius. Don't mind me. If you've got no business, don't come approach me, please. Rude. Emma. Which one was Emma? Look forward to working with you. My husband. Oh, yeah, it's the, the ones we picked up in Obel. Isn't that cool in Champ Champor, saying I'm some kind of hero? Isn't that cool? I wonder if those rumors started after I snuck off Nay Island. Thanks for bringing us on board. Now it's our turn to work hard for you, Mr. Lan. Shalomane, the ship is more wonderful than I had imagined. Cool. Very honored to have been allowed to join your company. So many. I love how the suggestion box, like, nobody leaves suggestions in the suggestion box.
Talk to everybody on the ship at this point. Left we'll is go back to our room. The man and the child? No. <laughs> this is very weird. Some random kid and her dad joining and like I thought maybe like we'd run to their mother at some point who'd be a star of destiny or something like that it's like hey you know, my family's joined all right I'm gonna join now but as far as I can tell none of the uh none of the stars of destiny are associated with them whatsoever so this is very random <laughs> we got to like throw some random people onto our ship Well, it's finally time, isn't it? I was going to say, it's no, I didn't see. Did you still not change outfits? <laughs> Use it as you see fit. <sighs> Although it may not be very much. You do know we have a tailor on board, right? Just wanted to let you know that. Well, good night. Oh, I never went to uh, these rooms. Hmm. What's wrong? You can't sleep, huh? In that case, let me tell you a little story. No, no, that's fine. I'm going to sleep. Bye. The rune you now hold? It was summoned from the ruins of the kingdom 15 years ago by the Queen of Obel. She was my wife. We lived normal lives, resisting the rune's lure. Then one day we were attacked by pirates. Our kids were on the ship too. Flair and her younger brother, they were just newborns. My lady died saving them. She defeated the pirates, but our ship sustained heavy damage. My youngest went missing. If he were alive, he would be about your age now. Just a couple more years and I dad? have shared a drink with him. Dad? Oh, but make Say no you mistake. dad? I haven't supported you in an attempt to replace my lost son. It's not that at all. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to sleep now. You should too. Be ready for tomorrow. I guess Flair is my older sister. Come on, Flair. I don't think I've seen Flair. Or is she on the dock? Maybe she wasn't on the dock. Can't fall asleep. Maybe a drink will do the trick. Two hours. What kind I don't of know. Depends how big the saying, uh, Lady Eleanor. We final area is. So we'll be ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow. I wonder if I'll see Cray tomorrow. Long ago, he used to be my subordinate, a tactician and an assistant in the service of the Scarlet Moon Empire. But out of the blue, he attacked the nobles of Scarlet Moon. How many years has it been since then? <sighs> I 
I had no idea. Back then, something definitely happened to Cray. He suddenly exchanged his left hand with a steel one. Even worse, he didn't realize Cray he had a his son as a pawn metal hand. Let him die. I'm positive that something triggered his rebellion. But no matter how much I questioned him, he never answered. In the end, he was expelled, and I was discharged. He was a good kid, too. But now, I regret my being unable to save him. Lady Eleanor, would you like some more? Boozer up. It was flare up on the deck. I'm trying to remember if I see if I seen flare anywhere. She's waiting in my room. I don't recall seeing Flare anywhere. Hmm. Mind you, I didn't see the three cats except during that one cutscene, so they're also kind of MIA. If you let Eleanor like make the decisions during sea battles, yeah, the your your ships are about as dumb as the enemy ships. <clears throat> no, no flare in my room. I don't know. She's in my A. Sort of fair fight, yeah. Or Jean. That's not Jean. Right. Damn night lights. We're so glowy. I guess we just have to live forever. Hey, Trippy. I'll have to join Jean and live forever. <laughs> yeah. You're now immortal, but you'll be cursed for the rest of your life. Have fun. 
Have a good night. Not really. <laughs> like, how many times has this rune passed changed hands just in this one game, right? I guess they may be more well not invulnerable. So they can die, it's just they... If they don't die, they're just gonna live forever. They don't age, I guess. So God knows how old Jean is. Or Vicky. I mean, Vicky... I mean, considering there was a young Vicky. So Vicky definitely ages. Like, in Circuit in 3, there was a young version. She just teleports through time and space. And, like, forgets everything. He's just a time lord, yep. Which also implies that she had the uh the, the the blinking rune at a young age. Since she was like you know, a kid. Sure is foggy. battle time. <clears throat> Sir, you did not have to send Lady Eleanor and our king into enemy territory. I did. Oh. <laughs> that was just... Either way, I know that it was the best thing to do. I am sure His Majesty wanted it that way. Besides, I... actually, everyone has absolute faith in you, after all. I'm assuming if I didn't send Lino in the party, Lino would been talking to me right now, but the game has, like, a fallback of he sent Lino to, into battle, then, you know, Setsu takes his place. All I can do now is wait. That is why I cannot help but speak with such worry. So we're fairly close to each other. Okay, let's go. What shall we do with this boat? Let's hide it in the rocks. The fog will clear in a little bit, and we'll need to hide too. Yeah, yeah. I get another Sukadin on fast forward or whatever. This is in play. I have six people on my team now. <laughs> if Eleanor is with me, and then I also have like the four fighters in the support. So there you go. We have a six player team. <laughs> That's going breaking. Spoopy music time. For five seconds. You'd be grumpy old lady forever. I wish. It's here, Chris, yeah. This fog is really supposed to clear up soon? Of course. Lady Eleanor said so. I wonder how she predicted it. I would like for her to teach me how to read the skies sometime. After me, I am to be taught first. Why? It would be a waste of time teaching you. Besides, do you even have the aptitude for it? Catfight. Wh what is that 
supposed to mean? Uh, the decoy fleet has been sent towards Elil. It's finally time. Go, go, mermaids, go. The mermaid's gonna fight. What are the mermaid's gonna do? They're like, nah, we're just gonna. We're, we're, out, we're out of this place. This is dangerous. And then they all got cut cotton nets <laughs> and get dragged back into the ships. Reporting in. We have yet to receive any word from the second fleet. We fear all those ships may have been... Uh, understood. Thank you. Captain, a fleet is approaching us. It appears to be the enemy. Prepare for battle. Be aware of the rune cannon's firing range and draw the enemy close. Confirm the fleet's identity. Yes, sir. Bunch of books laying around seems like a bad idea on a ship. Because we get thrown on the floor real quick. I think the second fleet was annihilated so easily. First fleet has moved outside the firing range and is prepared for battle. Captain, suspicious fleet in front of us. They're in range. How can they even see anything in this fog? Are they planning to approach using the fog as a cover? Stop them. Prepare to fire. We have not yet confirmed the, right, the fleet's identity. It's not one of our own. A split second decision will cost our lives. I'll take full responsibility for this. Fire. Yes, sir. Nope, rip that ship. They fired too soon. They fired without confirming the opponent. Listen, everyone. Advance straight ahead. Parts of the enemy's main force might have survived. If there are any remaining ships, we'll finish them off. So I guess the mermaids were like, were like sailing those ships and they just jumped off. So those were just empty ships. One longer until the rune cannon can fire again. How can he is not voiced? The estimate is about two hours. There's not much time to spare. We must defeat the first fleet before then. It's weird that that one scene wasn't voiced <laughs> compared to everything else. The enemy's numbers are staggering. There's a strong possibility that what we hit earlier was a decoy. Men, let's go. <laughs> Two hours of the sea battle. It will be. Final engagement. No, oh, to the final engagement. Lady Eleanor, I will do my best, just as Lady Eleanor bade me to. Please, everyone, listen to me carefully. Huh? Enemy flagship's rune shells are... Huh? Fire, wind, earth, and water? They have virtually no weakness. There are two other enemy ships. The rune shells are worth in... Or worth... Or worth in light later. Where are we set up? It seems we should make our decisions after confirming your opponent's runes. At any rate, let's do our best. We can do no more than give our all. So what was it? It was like... It was wind and earth and 
earth is good for the night. The strongest wind. How many strong wind users? I mean, land's got one of them. That's probably that's part of the problem. There you go. 16, I guess. And the other one was lightning and, and water. So lightning would be good for that. Yeah, I thought so too and at some point, but... Nibble battle. Let's go. <laughs> Range plus two. this team relatively strong team board maybe this is a bad idea <laughs> That guy. Yeah, considering we can't kill one dude in one turn. <laughs> one down.
Well, we tried. Unless she's like pulls a matrix. Nope. I wonder if we attack them again with like we board them again if we're gonna have uh They keep using the uh, the smart, but as soon as I use whatever counter is, what what does counter wind actually? Is it lightning? using wind. Oh, I use the earth this time, finally. I know the second I, I use whatever counter is uh, earth, they're going to use wind. Or they're going to... Or whatever counter is wind, is gonna use, they're going to use earth instead. <laughs> board me. Not today. It's <laughs> too down. My strongest attack was sure. Earth. Oh. Long range for the win. Good luck there. Man. That was easy. <laughs> Everyone, we have done it, except for that other boat. That boat just died. Victory! My RP winner. Looks precarious. <laughs> Imagine climbing up these stairs. I mean, these stairs would be like slick with like 
seawater and algae and stuff. You just break your neck so easily. Mega medicine. Floor. <laughs> Heard as many people as I expected, just like I thought. Huh? What? One dude. I figured they'd get some sort of combo. Family attack. Oops. Back upstairs. I'm assuming I need to go up, so yeah, let's go down first. One times total damage one enemy, so it's just a weaker version of the uh, of the friendship attack thing. Wouldn't one times this attack just be pointless? Like, wouldn't just do two, doing like regular hits of both of them be just like if it was like 1.1 times, at least it'd be some sort of combo, right? One times attack is literally just nothing. Like, Lino did all the damage and she just sniped him in the ass. <laughs> See that again. Poke. Okay, so that's just like a random chance of happening, I guess. Sometimes she'll snipe him in the ass, sometimes uh, <laughs> he'll kill the enemy. That's interesting. It's like a true dysfunctional family. I'm assuming that would the like, same thing happened there, because it was the same weakness of enemy. I don't know if he took any damage out of that, though. I didn't notice if his health had gone down. Either way, it's not like we need to do any of that to kill these guys. Oh, of course, just dodge both of us. Yeah, it's not gonna help you, other buddy. You're very dead. Helmet. Might be good to keep for the A team. I don't know if I want to equip anything on these guys because then I won't be able to take it off. It's not like they need them. These enemies seem to be pretty weak, so. You know, my team could actually hit them.
governor. The governator. Oh. Now we want to use some sort of AoE. and everything. Since we're leveling up uh, the other three here. Pretty quick. Dead. Cape of Darkness. Hello Darkness, my old friend. of darkness. Some magic defense, evasion defense. Okay, it's not particularly amazing. Keep it for the A team just in case. That's right, nobody just nobody attack the same dude or anything, you know, it's fine. Three full health the three dudes are down to one HP is better than, you know one dude down to like full HP. Nope. So we're back to full health again. It's a good thing we just brought everybody down to to low health. Everybody's dodging, it's annoying. Let's go to the nice hero helmet thing or whatever the hell we got. Hero cape or I don't know, whatever we got out of their chest. I think it was a helmet. Once we got that. Do we have the, uh, I was gonna say, do we have the rush ability here? We do, but it doesn't seem, we don't have the ability to using it because the hero isn't with us, I guess. Full health again. Oh, they concentrated on one dude. Still didn't kill it.
questions. Oh, is this what that slash room does? Maybe they're like weak enough. Maybe maybe instead of uh of like release, you just like instantly kill them. I mean, I guess it's the same thing. Although I guess you get some equipment out of it. And like I you get like money and the items versus release and experience, which really the experience would be not non existent, but. It's basically the equivalent of killing them, it's just insta-kill. I guess if I could get to a point where I could uh, flash enemies in the deserted island or something like that, that'd be a quick way of getting money, but I doubt that would happen. Especially since experience just goes down to zero at certain points. Oh crap. Well, well, these things had about 300 health, so... Or three 3,000 health, I think. So we might be okay here, but... This would have been useful. Not earthbound, so I'm hoping to keep this for like boss fights, but Is. <laughs> He's not supposed to do like 600 damage. This magic attack sucks. I'm not even gonna have enough uh, damage output to kill this thing. These things have a lot of defense, so... This thing has a limited number of magic, or just has like maximum like magic. Not expect to run into one of these things here.
I'm not going to have any power to fight a boss at the end of this. So this bastard... Last, last time, now he goes first this time. Dude, luckily nobody died. Could be getting close. Assuming this guy's not like a stronger version of the one we fought previously. Was worth it. Chaos shield. Can anybody in my party even use a shield? Not in this party. I know that. Uh, what's his face? Uh, Snow can use shields. So, at least the B team could do it. Locked. Seems, this place seems to be in pretty bad disrepair. Like, this isn't like a... This isn't like a, some ruins or something like that that these guys capture. This is supposed to be one of their bases. Like, why is it in such bad shape? Run out of these runes or something. Hopefully it's not another angel thing, because we're fucked at that point. Goddess Rube. Increases magic attack and defense. I mean, the Ivory Robe increases magic attack more.
very pointless room. It's like, look, this is where all the cutscenes were happening. So weird that all these rooms are like overgrown. That makes no sense. Like we're not in a, a tree forest here. Like we're in the middle of a middle of a fort built on a cliffside of on the ocean. Like why is there so many trees sticking out of these doors? That makes no sense. Plus they built like the this whole. Uh, super gun in, in this fortress. You think they'd, you know, take a little better care of it. Fortune orb. Yeah, I know, right? Ooh, double XP. <laughs> I mean, not very useful at this point, unless, uh, Either this is an end game or there's like a new game plus kind of thing and you get to carry that forward. It's a weird thing to drop like right at the end of the game. Plus XP really doesn't matter too much in this game. So double XP, like whatever. What? Why are you here? Answer me. You're gonna have a hard time Long this guy, aren't time we? no see. I heard rumors about you, and I just had to find out for myself if they were true. I see. So it was you all along, wasn't it? You were the one who spread the information about the Scarlet Moon army breaking through our northern border. You're quite right. That, in fact, was me. But I'll have you know, that information wasn't false. <laughs> So, you used your family in your homeland. Your skills in manipulation haven't faded in the least. It's dead again. It's left hand. It's poisonous. Be careful. Please. <laughs> How jokes on you I have multiple darts a small time crook trying to pass himself off as virtuous oh enough with this ridiculous show yeah no right hmm this is uh hopefully he's an easy boss because my team does not have a lot of anything right now especially after that that stupid like angel thing I didn't expect the fight defense, I'm guessing. Yeah. 
I know, right? Like, where did... Like, was he in jail? Like, did... Like, he clearly fought this guy. He just shows up out of nowhere and is like, Alright, I'm joining in now. It's like, what? Where did he come from? do physical attacks. He doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage, but neither are we. The healing didn't work on him because he had the effect against against magic. I guess it also affects his own magic. Whoops. Luckily, it was an easy fight. Because we definitely didn't. We're not prepared. <laughs> one one shot from like Jean probably would have like one shot at him. If she was in this team. He got away. Okay, back to a rendezvous point. I can handle things here. Will we be okay? That cray may come back. I've got other places to go, and I've got some ideas where. More importantly, I want you to secure a safe return path. Go on, take Ramada with you. Got it. We'll wait below. Now. That'll do it for this one. All that's left is... Yeah, pretty much. I'll be here. If you need anything, please let me know right away. Luckily, those uh, angel hairball things are, don't have a lot of hit points. They do a lot of damage, but they don't they don't uh, survive very long. All right, now we got the A team. We at least get a save point. This is where Graham Cray is, the man who decimated our village.
Seems like what's her face wanted to come along, but I'm not bringing her with me. Unless she's like a support character, in which case, fine. No, she's a regular character. Sorry, Frederica. I could probably like tag out. I don't know. I don't know who would want to tag out to, to bring her, but. Alright, I got a bunch of new equipment. Hero's helmet. Boom. You almost have a, a full hero set. We almost have the full hero set, except. It's a shield, and we can't use shields, which is so annoying. Here, let's see if we remove... And give him the, the full hero set. Do you get any sort of, like, bonus? Like, is there any sort of... If there is, it's not obvious. No idea. I'm not sure what skill does, per se. Oh, maybe it's good. Other games like, eh, you know, guard rings and... Red ring is way better. Yeah. Got the chaos shield. Okay, the hero shield is better. <laughs> like all the stats, you get a little more defense. The chaos shield better than that. Unless they have a save point or something. Go back to our ship and save. We. <laughs> we can. Didn't think we'd actually be able to return to the ship. I'll take it. <laughs> Can't save on the menu, but. We'll save in our uh, in our room. Should be able to upgrade Ted's uh, weapon a little more, or uh, Jean's weapon, or whatever. Over here.
in case that like heals up the B team in case we somehow need to use them again. How do we return? How do we exit the ship? There's no depart. Maybe go back to the either the docks or, or the, the docks, the upper deck, or the uh, the fishing deck. we have to go see Vicky because we did like show up right next to Vicky as if we used the uh, the mirror back out in the ocean just be a soft lock. <laughs> you go on the ship, but you can't get back out. Yeah, most likely Vicky, because... That are... Or the, uh, the, the rear deck, because that's... Would have been, like, right next to Vicky. Back to the war room? Like, how do we get back out? I'll let you get back on the ship. There's gotta be a way back to, to go back out. Like, how do we get back out? <laughs> Here? Okay, good. <laughs> There's got to be a way back. It wouldn't give you the option of going to the ship unless there's a way to get off the ship again. But this game, you never know. So I, so I guess since we're going to the same area, I could have like left the angel thing for these guys, but then I would I would have used up some of my like stronger attacks. So it's probably better just wasting my other team. Says you slightly more damage than the other team. I guess I could have, yeah, I guess it, technically at this point I could have gone and like equipped the, uh, the fortune rune. Although why would you need to? So that's definitely one thing you really don't need in this game is double XP. Yeah, it's like such a late thing you pick up too, like that makes no sense. <laughs> There's this double XP thing right at the end of the game. 
just in case you want to go from like getting one XP per level because or per fight because you know you're fighting level appropriate stuff to two XP per level or per fight. Woo. going back up here anyways like do we need two groups of people going to try to stop that uh that cannon i figured that, you know the one team would stop the cannon and the other team would like try to to uh capture the fort we're both going into the same area to, to the cannon The other team did a horrible job of clearing out the place before we came back up here. Gotta check see if there's anything in the government room. Yeah, maybe I need to go to the government room. No. There's a door there. Is that a place? <laughs> yes, yes, I see the glowy thing. Nothing else in here. Oh mashing the button. <laughs> I guess there was a rest stair room key. Yeah, that's probably a lo locked door that I'd seen. Again, what what did the other team... No, I guess the other team like went back downstairs to the Ramada or whatever. Do you think they could have like, at least searched and brought us the key? Actually, do, did we encounter the other team? I didn't even notice if they were like choosable when we chose our party to, to go back in here. If they were choosable, then I could have just used my like my A team as part of that other uh, fight. Would have been so much easier. <coughs> Minus Lan, of course. There would have been no point in bringing Snow. Well, Snow would have been good for physical attacks, I guess. Right, what the hell? Guys, dodging death. Equip the champion rune in hindsight. I figured just in case we need to like get a little bit of XP or something like that if we're not level appropriate, I won't equip it, but Yeah. 
can check what the uh, the friendship attack does damage wise at this point. Let's try it. This guy's gonna be very, very dead. I figured we would have done more. Right, well, maybe he's not dead. Especially if Gene misses. Level up. I still don't know what the hell leveling up the... Uh... No? Usually when they do something like that, it means they, you leveled up the, the attack or whatever, but I have no idea what that, what that does. Doesn't seem to increase the. Uh, at least it doesn't. Doesn't increase the uh, the damage according to the description. Whether it actually does, and it's just an invisible increase. I don't know. I'd have to do like a before and after. Anything here now? Literally no point in coming here. Magic canceller. No one stopped like one, one magic attack or something, which also includes your own your own healing, which is pretty stupid. As long as you don't have to drop your breeches every time. <laughs> it's like here's a pill. It's a that's mighty large to swallow. Yeah, you're not swallowing this. many stairs we'll be exhausted by the time we get to the top of this place Oh, 
can just smack him with the counterattacks. Oh, for sure. He definitely will. Are we there yet? Ugh, more stairs? God damn it. Why? Who built this place? Escape failed. Imagine having this many stairs with like no landings in between. Or well, not landings, but no no floors. Just like there's literally just a top floor and a bottom floor, and nothing in between. That's why they don't have like fake like there's supposed to be a floor here, but it's overgrown, you can't get in there. A little overkill for that one. It's almost dead. There had to be a second, like, set of stairs. I thought we were at the top, and the game's like, nah, you're only halfway there. If not a third of the way there. Ugh. And it, how's this, like, how's this thing standing, like... It's like... This is built with, like, medieval technology. Like, how many floors does this thing have? How's this thing standing and... With, with, like... I guess they must use, like, magical, like, methods. Yeah, rune magic. Who needs rebar when you get rune magic? Are we there yet? Right, please be the top. There's not be another set. Yeah, pretty much. This someone had oh, it's a new enemy. A grain of light. Should I be afraid of that? Just in case. Load-bearing bosses, yeah. As soon as you kill them, the whole place starts collapsing. The RPGs love their load-bearing bosses. <sighs> We're not there yet. So hoping so that was literally a third of the way, maybe a quarter of the way for the first one. Ugh. Why? Why didn't we not bring the champion's rune? Is it too late to go back to the ship and pick up the champion's rune? Weaker than I thought. I'm guessing I think that you does some sort of like AoE attack or something. It's looking a little more decrepit now. Finally. Save. Good thing they include a save point for the inevitable boss. Uh, let's not overwrite the, the last one before we came to this area, just in case. I can't see what else I would reload the, to do, but never know. 
<clears throat> it's him again. Did he half die? So, you've returned, O oh, rune of punishment. Dad? Returned. The rune's memories, among them, did you see a child? Memories? What memories? The visions of the runes past. You should have seen them too. Two. Said he wants some bread. I know, right? Bread. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I too would like to hold the rune of punishment once more and play with those sweet memories. <laughs> Long ago, that rune chose us. It didn't choose you. This country must grow stronger. The islands, your lives, you exist only to fulfill our destiny, as does the rune. When it comes to a battle of wills, I have no doubt that mine shall prevail against yours. Uh-huh. Likely story. There's two of them or something. Constipation sucks. I know, right? It's beautiful. You got all the LED setups. Dragon tree. This looks final boss ish almost. We got some special music too. Zoomed in, I can't see how much damage I'm taking. These two side things are tougher than I expected. Those two things.
barely did anything. Yeah, it feels very Final Fight-ish. <laughs> Ultimate Evolution of Bulbasaur. That would be badass as a Bulbasaur evolution. Big evolution of Bulbasaur. I think it's dead. That was easy. A team too strong. Everybody leveled up multiple times, apparently. All the XP. Is that a load bearing boss? I think it's a load bearing boss. Well, this one actually had, like, a logical reason. Accept me, rune of punishment. You were once cut off from this body. Now, you do not wish to return to it again. Oh, he's gone. It's dangerous here! Hurry up and run if you don't want to die! Thanks, Captain Obvious. Run! The door is locked. This they uh, they thankfully put us at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> you guys might want to run too. Just saying. Not the smartest soldiers. <clears throat> oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I was able to kill a lot of those, like, optional... I wouldn't really call them super bosses, but those seemed like they had, well, about the same amount of health, I guess. I'd like to return aboard the ship? Nah, it's fine. Yeah, I mean... It's been 50 hours, so... A-Team is definitely overpowered. Hey Troy, you gonna join? Are we going to have a duel? It's been a long time since I had a duel. I forgot those were a thing. Nineties. A little overkill. You cannot see my intentions. Then, here I go. Special. It's kind of guard. <coughs> Total guesses. Yield to my sword. Alright, let's probably gonna do a special. <coughs> no, attack. 
yield to my sword. Full power. <laughs> yield to my sword. Since when they just like advertise exactly what they're gonna do. <laughs> Sorry, but I will take your life with one more move. Oh, gee, I wonder if I should guard here. What a surprise! He was, yeah, he wasn't wrong. The best duels is um, the Monkey Island ones. <laughs> Those are the best duels. <laughs> Won't you come with us? We have room for a 109th Star of Destiny. Don't further my defeat with your insults. I have no desire for your pity. This is how I hoped it would end. What regrets could I possibly have? Our conflict is over. The blood of the Pretty sea full. flows through my veins. I return to it now. To be reborn. Uh huh. Let us meet again on this sea someday. Was he in the other Suikoden's? Uh, maybe he was reborn in the other ones? I don't know. Maybe he was. Stops. Stops. By your leave, leave, Captain. Captain. I, suppose I suppose it can't be can't helped. helped. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, right? It was such a disappointing battle. Literally like a, an easy duel. Not that guy. All right, I'll join you. Off with his head. Who's like, yeah. Damn that idiot. Wasting his precious life. Of course, <laughs> even though he got crushed by a boulder, just, just conveniently all the boulders missed him. So, it's over. 9,000? What now? Is Eleanor gonna... I've got a question for you still. What if I didn't answer? I have a good idea what it is you wish to ask me, but I will not respond. I don't. <laughs> I leave you to speculate forever without answers. I can think of nothing that will harm you more. Yeah. That would hilarious. Humans are the fools of this world. And being a human, you are no exception. And neither am I. <laughs> Good grief. 
Is that the best conclusion you could draw? Looks like I'm going to have to train you all over again from scratch. Time for a spanking. Thanks, Chipu. But, but Lady Eleanor is still... What do you want me to do? She's fine. Yeah, either her son or like just her student. My true rune of punishment. Maybe it'll be an implosion rune, not an explosion rune. Destroys the earth. <laughs> yeah. Best spanking ever. That girl from the, like, the intro cinematic. Maybe it's Elena, but like... 30 years ago or something. Wait, Father! Mr. Setsu asked me to do something. Which is fan stuff, yeah, there's probably a lot of fan speculation. It feels like so there's definitely like holes in this game story. Like a lot of cutscenes where just suddenly you go from like one scene to the next and nothing in between. Like what just happened? So feels like they definitely cut out some of that stuff before release, but they didn't finish it or whatever. Yeah, no right. On my honor as the King of Obel, I, Lino and Kuldus, declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Obel. Ooh. Flair, Flair looks good in a dress, too. Is that Flair? I'm assuming that's Flair. Oh, especially this one. This conflict, though tragic, has presented us an opportunity to think about the islands and their citizens. 
I would like to take this chance now to propose the establishment of an island nation's federation. What say you? <laughs> Hell no. No to you. I he's like, wait, nobody told us about this. Of the island nation's federation. Oh yeah. This guys do not look impressed. Apparently. Yeah, the leaders from the other islands were definitely like it's like, ugh, seriously? Federation under under the lead of the you know the Emperor of Obel, of course. <laughs> I guess that's it. All right, that is done. We're getting the epilogue of all the stars. It's usually the end. Establish, please. One can always find the excellent wine where Eleanor used to live. It'll be 150 years from now that he meets his good beloved friends. So his honor had 50 years before the first game. The island which he determined to become the final residence went on to become the land filled with flowers. He's on the chief of Nanal. Forgiven by Elder El Elven Elder. Concerned about Ted, Elder runs away with him. What? Sees his father, whereas he still travels the sea. Knowledge of her part in the liberation of the island nation, she's led to return to the Elven village. He to live her life as a pirate. He would later meet her, her end on the high seas. Oh, that's that. Vice Commander of the Knights of Bransville survives this terrible ordeal. Of course he does. Later establishes a prosperous trading company. Part of the hustle and bustle of town life. Having been forgiven, Snow spends the rest of his life as just another citizen of Bransville. Still chases Cedric to this day. She swears someday he'll pay for all his skipped meals. With <laughs> strength and skill of Nax, who's recruited as a woodcutter. He's been eating and skipping bills because he wants Rachel to chase him. He was grown tired of judging people and retires in Middleport. If I had fun, this is the best part of the game right here. The end. He heads deep into the woods where he goes on a wild rampage. She now teaches swordsmanship at the Marines Academy. Turns to the Marines Academy in Razrael where he becomes a world-renowned teacher of magic. She lived in Razrael for a while, later returned to her hometown to Nanal. Razrael to reinstate the knights and becomes a new commander. Turning to Mordo with Lohak, they turn Mordo Island to a popular tourist spot. The other low guys aren't together. <laughs> Headed to Razrael to become a fishing instructor. I fall in love with the kingdom of Wobel. She parts ways with her brothers to live there. On days where the weather's good, you can be seen fishing line every so often. Sees near and all. Still helps out his older brother. After taking his late father, he becomes a kind fisherman. Turns to her homeland of Nanal and lives a quiet life with the Raki. The demise of Cray Training Company. Works hard as a pirate and loves every second of it. Hasn't taken a bath in months. He was patrol the seas, frightening all those around her. Any interest in the history of the island nations, she writes diligently to sometime publish her findings. Prince of Bell's army eventually becomes an instructor. Ship the ship and gratings that Gareth made in popular response, blah blah blah. As soon as the fighting ended, she disappeared without a trace. No one has seen her since, of course. Returned to the deserted islands together with her younger sisters. And journey towards the Scarlet Moon Empire in search of a place where he and his wife could live in peace. Katarina is Glenn's daughter. No, it doesn't sound like. I don't think they were related. It seems like she was in love with Glenn. I don't think. I don't think he. I don't think she was his daughter. Looks like Gary stands Emma, placid smile. A little friend of Kika's. He used to support Kika on the Sigurd. So Reinbach wrote, eventually become a classic tale of heroism, the part of a journey determined to spread the skill of appraising. Her homeland in a state of turmoil is returned to help resolve tension between Scarlet Moon and Kuluk. Ran up and hid somewhere, staying, saying something about hating the sunlight. In search of battle, leaves on a journey towards the land of Athena. Disappeared along with Colton. No one has seen them since. He used to search to research rune cannons. Turned to Ney Island, is now selling lottery tickets to humans who love to gamble. She returns to the deserted island with her sisters, and immediately leaves on a journey to search of others. Deserted island with her sisters. And the mermaids are boring. 
The other is carry the savages of free infirmary. Comes use the system, continues to nurse people with a smile. Putting Nello up with his own operations, he dedicated the rest of his own life in Kika's service. He comes the general in Obel's army and continues to do good deeds. Apparently, he is still worked to death by Mitsuba because she knows his weakness. Pressured by militant factions insisting they atone for his crimes of spreading rune cannons in the world, he dies. Wow, that's sad. Either Mizuki accepts Lino Okuda's offer to work as his personal bodyguard. He ends up taking the duty of guarding Lino Okuda's with Agaki. Well, I imagine some scenes wouldn't have happened without the 108. Seems he never did meet the person he was searching for. <laughs> it's also sad. Flipped up in his home, rumors has it he has begun work on some kind of new project. Saying something about the subterranean water channel, she leaves on a journey with rods in her hands. He stopped wearing makeup, and her best friends apparently could not recognize her. Day in, day out, he continues to patrol the seas. She studies assiduously, determined to prove that she knows more than Nico. Her orders Lino Kodesi is secretly building another ship. It said that there exists no tailor greater than Phil. Working up his courage, he finally heads home. He's apparently still teamed up with Reynold, staging pseudo fraudulent duels. She's returned to the desert island with her other sisters. Her house boasted the most brilliant of window frames. Ran up and hid somewhere, saying something about hating dry places. He needed to serve Renbach. I thought Etienne was a she, or whatever. <laughs> Etienne is a female name, too. Right in the middle of the victory banquet, she sneezed and mildly flew away. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like Vicky. Box nomination. She's apparently designing a new game that allowed her to make more money. And to sell his clever new inventions, but no one will ever take him seriously. Hardly steps to the end of Middleport. Bye, Vicky. Well, that's why it took 50 hours. <laughs> a lot of running around over and over to all the islands. After cleaning up Eleanor's hermitage, he arranges to study abroad and heads to the Scarlet Moon Empire, becomes his Captain Great Royal Guard. She quit being a petty thief and now helps out Champu and company with the business on the end. Always has orders pouring in, continues to serve the royal family of Wobel. Turns to Nate Island and opens up a business with Champu. Well, the business he started with Nekul did not take off for a long time. He never gave up on it. Finds his cooking, becomes a brilliant chef. She travels south, determined to study the latest trends in interior design. She is fear saying her contract has been fulfilled. She moved around on Nay Island for a bit, but eventually returned to the sea, becoming a crew member on a merchant ship. Makes a living, fleecing small change from travelers with stingy games. During the desert island with her sister, she goes on a search of the others who have been missing, and all the uh, mermaids are really boring for their uh, epilogues. Stronger than before, put up with precarious life gambling, now manages a small restaurant in Middleport. Just a while when Louise left, and now works delusionally on Nisetsu. Around the time the kingdom again regains vigor, Louise disappeared unbeknownst to anyone. Building luxurious bathhouses became a pirate reminiscent of Dario. At least that's what the legend says. A new secret ship. That was Haruto. It's often seen sipping tea. Worked his heart out to buy a new helmet with the money he earned. Why does he even need a helmet? He's literally a merchant. Yeah. It, it feels like it's unfinished and they just boost up the encounter rate to, to make it longer. That's what it was. Feels like there's there's a lot of potential. Even stuff in, like, in literally the trailer. The trailer for this game had, like, even army battles. That did not exist in this game. So clearly they were planned to have some army battles and then they cut those out at some point. Sounds like a very Disney song here. <laughs> With the harps going. The credits. It's over. So we get some sort of epilogue epilogue. I'll have, have some I'll have to roll the five new games as well. It's always the best part of the fast forward games. Of course there is. There's always post credit. Little Bach. <laughs> I 
the role, the most exciting part. <laughs> Did we get some like some recurring games? Did we get like a fresh new batch of five new games? Did we get anything good? Is it all gonna be jank? It's gonna be a bunch of Vita games. It's gonna be the Criminal Girls. There's gonna be the, the Dungeon Travelers one. I'm trying to think of other like fan servicey ones. Army Battle is in the game, it's just very hidden. Oh yeah, I never saw it, spotted it, so... It's surprising. <laughs> I know I know, I could do like more ship battles by talking to Eleanor, but... <laughs> Still getting naggy work emails. You missed the fan service. Nope, just pick up a Switch. There's plenty of them on the Switch. A little too many on the Switch. Which is kind of weird thinking about it. Like back in the day, that kind of stuff would never have shown up on like Nintendo consoles now. <laughs> it's basically where they're where they stay. Can you use the fishing nets to collect all the outfits. No uh okay. I was gonna say, like, it's weird the snow had never had another outfit. So you had to like uh I guess you can only capture him once you pick up snow. I didn't I didn't go sailing after I picked up snow, so. Or maybe you just need to cuz yeah, you know, once I got Vicky, I I tried to sail as little as possible. Once I like, basically had ex explored whatever I needed to explore in the world or the rare time I needed to go between islands manually, I tried to avoid sailing, so. <laughs> I know, right? His rags came from, like, from the sea. I guess the rest, like, his other clothes must have, uh, must have scattered to the seas. So you're just picking up his old clothes. I mean, it just would have been a different look, so wouldn't have mattered too much, I guess. Some boring credits, by the way. <laughs> There's a bunch of ship drawings. I mean, I guess it matches the game. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We didn't use the water effect enough for 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 uh, transition to battle. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I didn't really do too much for the mint and mushroom, since there's like so many different variables. There's like five different variables, like I don't know, four times per cultivation period. It's just like no, I didn't even want to like to try like doing any any sort of combos for those things. Yeah, they, I mean, they could have the epilogues, like, scroll at the bottom while these credits were going or something like that. <laughs> like, you could probably have had the 108 epilogues showing up at the bottom. But of course, you're not guaranteed to have the 108, right? So, I mean, they would have to have some sort of timing thing where, like, it's, like if you have 108, the timing is this short between them. But if you have, like, less, you have to, like, divide the timing a little more, etc., etc. Yeah, such fancy boats. They're so beautiful. I didn't even notice. Large war game programmer. Yeah, I could see that being that little mini game that. The, the, the war mini game. I mean, strange is that hidden away. I mean, obviously, they didn't really care about it if they hid it away that well. Yeah, 
I'm sure the boat's repeating too. Yeah, and it's weird that they like prominently showed it in the trailer. At least the Japanese trailer. Couldn't find an English trailer, but... Because of course it was a, it's a staple in the Suikoden games to do like these war battles, right? And this obviously this one doesn't make sense considering you're on the ocean. That's another thing they really use sparingly, like other than like, of course the mini game with uh, with with Eleanor and the occasional story one. You never did a ship battle. Like if they had if they had reduced the ocean encounter rate by a significant margin and made it so that you occasionally get you know, ship-to-ship -ship battles against the Kulik army in the ocean. You know, they, they would have been interesting, right? Missed the ending. Well, yeah, after the credits, there'll be some post credit stuff, I'm sure. Loading eye-catch designer. <laughs> Get a designer just for the the water effects. Or no, that, that's probably the one that has that little... Those little Drawings like Jean walking along with a cat behind her and that stuff. That's probably what that is. I wonder how many of those there are. There's one for Snow. There's one for the hero. If you don't have any like special characters or you're alone or whatever. There's one for Jean. Uh, there's one for Chipu. There's probably ones for like a lot of different characters. Like Vicky probably has one. And I never had just Vicky without any of the other characters with me though. Yeah, well, this is... This game has nothing on, or Skies of Arcadia has nothing on this. The encounter rate in the ocean was ridiculous. It made it made exploring the ocean just stupidly annoying until you get the uh, the the champion rune, which of course is fairly late. Digital zero. Suda. Suda 51. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the thing, too. The ocean felt so empty. And, like, there were some charts in the ships where... Like, for the most part, the islands on, on the ocean kind of matched those charts, but there was other islands on those charts which weren't there. So I'm convinced there was some they were gonna have additional islands and then they cut it back and didn't add those islands. Squeechy Sudo. Maybe they're related. <laughs> Probably not. So when I saw those charts I'm like, let me go try going to those places. See if there's any like hidden islands there. No. There was nothing. As before, I got the champion rune, so that was even more annoying. BPN with the raid, just in time to see the end of the game. Let's go to BPN. That was Quest. Did you beat it? You apparently did, because you're playing Bakuretsu Muteki. Bungalow? <laughs> what the hell that is? Yeah. Another raid from BPN. The double raid from BPN. <laughs> That's weird. Two raids. Bungalow is fantastic. What even is it? Never heard of it. I mean, obviously it's a Japan-only release. <laughs> Nobody expects a second raid. US localization, yeah. Yeah, some of the stuff... I mean, it, it's like most things. You always have mo different localization teams, right? You have one that like works on the story part, and there's one that, ones that work like on, like, you know, like item names, location names and stuff. There's some locations that were just like and items and or not necessarily items, but I think some stuff was definitely weirdly localized, like releasing monster, you know. It released. 
and you know the the, the mountain mass island like what, what the hell's with that you know some really weird stuff like that three times yeah three raids <laughs> which is weird how's it going VPN see beat quest so that's Bakuretsu Butegi Bangayo Come on, she have three raids. Welcome to the credits. The really, really slow credits of this game, my god. He wanted to show off all the ships. I mean, that's, that's the first ship. That's the one we sailed on when we were, like, sent away there. We were banished. I'm assuming that's the last ship, right? 2D shmup. You can wander around. Sounds interesting. I imagine that there's encounters in the uh, in the credits. Oh god. Yeah, I mean, some games usually they'll have like some some like fancy credits for like maybe the main team, and then they're gonna you know fade to black. Like movies do that. Like the black screen have all like ge generic staff that don't really matter. This one's like now nah, we're just gonna have the credits for every person in existence. Here's the, the here's the caterer for the uh, <laughs> for the marketing team or something like. Oh, we're back to the director, which means we're basically at the end of the credits. Yeah, you watch 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 me get another sweet in for the fast forward rules. My thoughts uh, three, <laughs> so three out of five. I'll get Suikoden in Tactics, Suikoden in 5, and Suikoden in Tier Chris <laughs> show up in the fast forwards. I mean, obviously, I'd only have one of those show up. Probably Tactics, I guess. Be the next Suikoden one. Yeah, that's true. Konami. Man, I hope they still make games. Uh, good old Konami. Chris does not exist. All right, what kind of post sequence thing do we get here? We're gonna have Troy in the ocean. It's snow again. <laughs> we banished him. It's land, what? Was this like many years later or something? Everybody else is dead and he's he's of course, you know, still has the rune and is immortal. Yeah, that doesn't look comfortable. Huh. <laughs> what are you supposed to make of this? Okay. That was worth waiting for the credits. Okay, right, good. There's more. <laughs> no, they're gonna repeat the same thing. It'd be funny if the uh, the bird just suddenly like there's an eyeball that pops out. <laughs> maybe the, maybe that's the only thing you get if you didn't have all 108, and if you do have 108, it continues on to this next scene, maybe. It was all a dream, yeah. This is actually right after we got banished from the uh, from from Razril there at the beginning of the game. We just had a fever dream. Hundred eight, he stood up. 
Hey guys, I'm over here. A rune shell fires at him, <laughs> takes him out. The end. Like, what am I supposed to make of this? Like, why is he on a ship? Why is he like? I I, I don't I don't understand. <laughs> This is so confusing. Maybe this was all a fever dream. It was him dreaming up this entire story, and this is this is like literally after he got uh, banished from the island. Oh yeah, that's right. We did use the we did use the rune, and then we like we went to that black thing, and then yeah, we kind of got the credits and stuff. So yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe they just... I don't know how the hell we end up on a ship and a boat. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> totally worth it. Now save the clear data here, sure. Huh. Yeah, that... The worst... Worst reward ever. I mean, I'm assuming there's some other scenes that would, wouldn't have happened. Had we not, you know, had them, but... St Oh. Getting sort of like bonuses or something. So like a new game plus. <laughs> Clear data. Or does it just go back to the credits? I've got three cats. That's a new one. We have the option of like skipping scenes now. I wasn't there before. Just restarts the game. I wonder if we like keep any of anything. So your reward for doing that is like a skip scene button. See their levels. No, they definitely, they definitely don't keep anything. It was very serious starting the game with like maybe some other stuff, but maybe you get to keep your like weapon levels and stuff. I doubt it. All right, that sucked. All right. I guess we can, I was gonna say we can shut off the system, but we're gonna have to like use it again.